Something Borrowed is a 2D animated film and the idea for it actually came about in a few different ways. During story development, someone asked to borrow my pen. Excuse me, have you got a pen? And I remember how reluctant I felt to lend my favourite pen. Oh, thank you so much. What? Wait, no! I need that back! That kind of sparked an idea of thinking, oh, could this be a nice premise for a story? And as well, another sort of inspiration was my grandma. And she unfortunately was steadily getting uh, more and more ill throughout my time at the NFTS. When I was talking about these things with my writer, Nathan, there was the idea that instead of it just being a woman chasing after her favourite pen, she's actually chasing something much more than that. One of the amazing things about working on this film has been working as part of a team, which is something I've not done before, and having the contributions from everyone has been incredible. For example, the storyboard process, before I actually got to speak with uh, my cinematographer, Twan, the visuals were extremely flat. Like I struggled to sort of think in a 3D space, and having him on board helped so much because he, he helped open up the world and make it feel believable and looking at things from different perspectives and understanding how the camera would work in a make-believe world was uh, really, really helpful. We'd go from storyboards to animatic. My editor, Jan, placed the storyboard images into an edit. He would always try new things and see how the film can be pushed even further. and then we would record dialogue. Well, 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 look who decided to show up. Oh, yeah, sorry, I, I, I finished work late and I got chased by a goose in the park. <laughs> Come on, let's go. I'll be back in a bit, Dad. Working with uh, Jane and Jason was incredible, like the most terrifying but amazing experience ever. Um, very, very surreal. They really cared about the story, which meant so much to me. And um, what they brought to the voices and the characters was more than I could have hoped for. <laughs> that sort of thing. The animation itself could take a really, really long time. <laughs> it completely depended on the action uh, and how long the shot was. But roughly, I tended to animate around three seconds a day. Even though it was digital, we wanted that inky drawn feel. And so we played around with splatters and just dropping ink onto paper. Whilst uh, I was animating, Ruth was working really hard adding sounds to the film. Wind is crazy! Ethan Composer on the project was really great. He was able to bring a whole other perspective to it. I'm just thankful that I've been able to work with some really incredible people here and creating a film like this was something I never thought would be possible before coming to this school, so thanks. <laughs>